Welcome! In this video, we will discuss wireless power. Most wireless power and charging platforms make use of time-varying electric, magnetic, or electromagnetic fields to transmit power. Wireless power techniques mainly fall into two categories, near-field or non-radiative and far-field or radiative. For the near-field technique, power is transferred over short distances by magnetic fields using inductive coupling between two wire coils or by electric fields using capacitive coupling in between a pair of electrodes. Inductive charging is the most popular form of wireless charging. Applications include charging handheld devices like smartphones and electric toothbrushes, wirelessly charging implantable medical devices like pacemakers, RFID tags, and other applications where distance is not a factor. In far-field or radiative techniques, which is sometimes referred to as power beaming, power is transferred over long distances by beams of electromagnetic radiation, such as microwaves or laser beams. When it comes to wireless power standards, there are two key players for consumer electronics. The Wireless Power Consortium, which produces the Qi specification, and the Air Fuel Alliance. It's worth mentioning that the Qi standard is being used by Apple, which means that this standard is certain to be one of the more popular, if not the most popular, wireless power standards. Power requirements for wireless charging are dependent upon the application. A few application examples include wireless headsets, which may require around 100 milliwatts, smartphones and tablets might demand up to 10 watts, and 100 watts or more may be needed for wirelessly charging laptops. Also, the proper transmitting and receiving coils must be accurately selected for suitable wireless power operation. TDK Corporation offers a variety of coil kits. Typical applications of wireless phone transfer include phone charging stations at coffee tables, cordless kitchen appliances for the home, phone charging systems inside vehicles, and charging stations integrated into furniture. For today's demonstration, I'll be using a wireless power design kit that Rome Semiconductor has developed together with Worth Electronics. So this is a plug and play design kit for ease of use. So it comes with this 19 volt, two amp AC to DC adapter. And a transmitting module. And the receiver module includes an LED load module. So the transmitter IC contains all the necessary analog functions required for wireless charging. And a microcontroller is required for digital and signal control. So at this point, I'm going to connect power to the transmitter. So I'm going to place the receiver module along with the LED load module on the transmitting module. Um, but we're first going to dim the lights here. You can see the LEDs light up there. And at this point, I'm actually going to take this top plate off so we can look at the LEDs and also so we can take a voltage measurement. So I'll go ahead and place that on there again. I have a DMM here and I'm going to take a voltage measurement on the bottom here. And you can see it produces about 10 volts. And then you can also turn off the LEDs so you can get more power to your application if you need more power. So again, so the LEDs are obviously off and we can take a measurement again and we have 10 volts. And as you can see, I can just spin this receiver module and the LEDs stay illuminated. I hope you enjoyed this video from DigiKey. Thanks for watching.